Hello everyone and happy Sunday. Welcome to the very first episode of Sunday Brunch, which is a new series that Nick and I are doing. It's based in the galley, it's going to be showcasing all the recipes that we make on a regular basis here on Ruby Rose. We, this is in response to a lot of questions that we get asked from you guys about what we cook on board, how we manage the small space of the galley, how we cook and eat when we're underway, and all of those types of questions. So this series will attempt to answer some of those. As always, if you have any other suggestions for us, then please leave your comments down below and we will definitely take them into consideration. But today, first of all, we are starting with a quiche, which is something that Nick and I cook all the time. It's really easy, it's boat friendly, and it's delicious. So let's get started on the pastry. Okay, so into your mixing bowl, you put two cups of flour. Make sure you pour the flour into the measuring cup. Don't scoop the flour from its uh, container using the measuring cup because otherwise you actually compact the flour and you end up with more. So always pour flour into your measuring cup. Into the bowl you also add your butter. So there's 100 grams of butter that also goes into the bowl. Make sure the butter is cold and you dice it up. And then all you do is you just rub the butter into the flour using your fingers. Okay, so your butter and flour mixture will be ready when it resembles damp sand. And once you're done with that, then also be sure to add your one teaspoon of salt and just mix it through. And then it's time to add water. Just add the water to the um, butter and flour mixture and then just mix it in with a spoon. Once it starts coming together, you're gonna have to actually get your hands in the bowl and get them dirty and just bring the entire pastry together with your hands. So once the pastry has formed a ball, then it's ready to go in the fridge. Just wrap it up in cling film and pop it in the fridge for half an hour. So, quiche. It's a pretty awesome, healthy and tasty meal. We eat it all the time. There's a couple of different parts to it. First part, make the pastry. That's already in the fridge chilling. Second thing is make the filling for the quiche. Third thing is add the quiche itself, the eggs and the cheese. So we're gonna move on with starting the filling. You can put whatever you want into a quiche. We tend to use basic stock ingredients. Today we're gonna to be making steak, caramelized onion and broccoli quiche, but we also use chorizo, plantain. There's all sorts of things you can put in. It's really whatever you take to your fancy, whether it's stuff you've got in the fridge, whether it's leftover some last night's meal or whatever's on special in the supermarket. So first thing, fry off the steak. Put the steak into really hot oil. We tend to, for frying, use vegetable oil. It achieves a different heat to olive oil, for instance. So pop the steak, the salted steak, the freshly salted steak into a really hot pan. You should be out here at sizzle. Now that steak's only gonna take about a minute or two to cook each side. About one minute before you take the steak out of the pan, just throw a knob of butter in there. Knobs of butter, little bits of butter, it deglazes the pan, it will just give you a much kind of nicer color to your steak. So while the steak's frying off, we're gonna just chop some onions up. It's just to make some caramelized onion, just to sit at the bottom of that quiche. So we browned off the steak, browned off the steak with some butter. I've now put the onions into the pan to caramelize. Now the secret of caramelized onions, chopped onions, some vegetable oil, a little bit of butter, some salt, and this is the secret thing, half a teaspoon of sugar. It starts the caramelization process. And then once you've got that all in there and they've started to sizzle, put a lid on your pan and put them on a really, really low heat. And eventually you'll get some really lovely brown caramelized onions. In addition to that, we are blanching broccoli. Blanching broccoli is very different to boiling broccoli. If you like broccoli, you basically just put it into boiling water for two minutes. So our filling is complete. Now the easy bit is actually the quiche part itself. For this, you're gonna need six to eight medium-sized eggs. You're gonna need some cheddar, some cheese, whatever cheese you want. You can put blue cheese in, you can put mozzarella in if you want, but we like cheese, probably about a cup full of cheese, uh, an ounce of butter, and then probably half a cup of milk. So those four ingredients into a bowl, all mixed up, and that's the basis of your quiche. And one thing I did forget, if you really want to lift a quiche, add a little sprinkling of nutmeg. Nutmeg goes really, really well with quiche, but just a sprinkling, okay? Otherwise it's a bit overpowering. Anyway, Teresa's gonna get on rolling that pastry out, putting it into this, because I hate rolling pastry out. I'm a guitar player when it gets everywhere under my nails. And then we'll get that in the oven and we should have dinner for you in about, ooh, an hour. <laughs> Okay, so now it is time to roll out your pastry. What you want is a well-floured surface and ideally a rolling pin, although all I have is a bottle of wine, which 
is fine, perfectly suitable for this purpose, and you'll want to flour that as well. So let's get started. Once you have rolled your pastry out to about two, three millimeters thick, then it's time to transfer that to your pan. Make sure your pan has been greased with butter first so that you can get the quiche out afterwards. And the way that you transfer your pastry over is ideally to roll it around your rolling pin or your wine bottle, whatever you're using, and then use that to transfer it into the pan. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so popping the pastry into the pan can be a bit of a delicate operation, um, but just take it slowly and make sure that your um, rolling pin or your wine bottle is well floured and it should come off okay. And then at this point, um, obviously ideally we would have covered the entire pan, but we haven't. Um, so we can just trim off the excess and then just kind of patchwork it together um, and no one will ever know the difference. Okay, so once all that is done and you have the pastry in your dish, then just blind bake it for about 15 minutes. So that just means popping it in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until it is partially cooked. Once that's out of the oven and a little bit cool, what we're gonna do is actually put the filling into the quiche dish. So we can do this artistically or unartistically or just throw it all in. Either way, filling first, then the quiche mixture. Once that's in, we will cover it in a tin foil and put it in the oven for about 45 minutes too and it's set in the middle. Some people think quiche, no, I don't like quiche. But quiche is a super, super awesome, nutritious and tasty meal. We've been eating it regularly the last couple of months. It's pretty nice. So quiche, people think quiche, do I really want to eat quiche? What is wrong with you? Look, I don't want to be doing this all day because you can't stop laughing. <laughs> now, you're going to get on with it? How could you be a camera woman? No, I'm kidding. Huh? Okay. <laughs> what? And while that's chilling, Nick's going to do the filling. <laughs> Can that become our catchphrase? Oh, yes. <laughs> while that's chilling, Nick's going to do the filling. <laughs> Numerous different <laughs> connotations like a Swiss army knife. Okay, let me do that again. And action. Okay, so once the pastry has formed into a ball, then you just wrap it up in cling film and pop it in the fridge for half an hour. And while that's chilling, Nick's gonna do the filling. <laughs> I love rhymes. While that's chilling, Nick's gonna do the filling. <laughs> 